was kind of like a household name. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that was what really gave me the jumping off point mm -hmm. to be able to go to the American networks and say, okay, this mm -hmm. is what I can do. Mm -hmm. And um, and I always, you know, I never wanted to live in England forever. Um, that was not going to be my home. And um, and so I was I was interested in, in America. And um, 60 Minutes offered me that at the time, 60 Minutes too, and Jeff Vega made me an offer. Um, NBC made me an offer. You know, I was talking to different people, but um, when when 60 Minutes came knocking, that was it was clear mm -hmm. that was where I was going to go. Yeah. How did you get to that um, that station in Afghanistan? Well, I was working for a British TV station called GMTV, which is kind of like the British version of the Today Show, okay. and um, no one took it very seriously, and um, and everyone told me not to work there. And it was the first time I ever interviewed for a job when I got hired there, and I embarrassed myself at the interview because they asked me, you know, which of their on-air people I liked and, and, and why. And I'd never watched GMTV, so I couldn't even answer that question. I knew one I knew one reporter because when I worked in Africa for a news agency, um, he'd been one of our clients, and I had helped him. And so that was the only reason I knew him. Mm -hmm. And they said, besides him, who else do you know? And of course, I, I couldn't come up with anyone. So. I came out of that interview humiliated and humbled and thought, oh my God, you know, I learned a big lesson here. But I had literally never interviewed for a job. I had just walked into every other, you know, I'd walked into someone's office every other time and said, hire me and this is why, and, and I'll work for nothing. And I'd done that at newspapers and I'd done that in, in television and, and so, you know, I, I learned a big lesson and I, I really thought I wasn't going to get that job and for some um, incredible reason they gave it to me. And they didn't have anyone doing serious news and that provided so many opportunities for me because they really did have a, a thirst for serious news. They wanted to do it and they, they just let me go all over the world. And, and, um, and that's how I ended up in Afghanistan, which is another you know, long story in itself yeah. mm -hmm. that, took a, that took a lot of doing. Mm -hmm.